Now, in R2, in two-dimensional space, if I have an equation like y equals 3, what does that equation describe? That equation describes all the points that are at a y value of 3. It defines a line in two-dimensional space. So we might ask the question in three-dimensional space, what do I describe if I write an equation like y equals 3? So now we're saying y equals 3, what are all the points in space that have a y value of 3? Now over in two-dimensional space, x could vary, keeping y constant, and we get a line. Here, if I tried to describe all the points with a y value of 3, well, z could vary up and down, and x could vary either direction, or both could vary, so I could end up somewhere up here. And in fact, it ends up that we describe an entire plane of space uh, when we describe y equals 3. I drew, I drew it here as a perspective rectangle, but it really does extend out forever uh, in the z directions and in the x directions, y is just constant. So y equals 3 here is describing a plane. Likewise, uh, what would y equal 0 describe? y equals 0 would describe all the points where y is 0 and would include the x and the z axes, that would be the plane y equals 0. And this is called one of the coordinate planes, kind of like we have the axes, the x and y axes here, we have the x, y, and z axes, but we also have the coordinate planes. So when y equals 0, we get the plane that includes the x and the z axes, and so this is sometimes called the x, z plane. It is the plane that includes the x and the z axes. So likewise, we could talk about the uh, y, z plane and the x, y plane, and so let's take a look at those. So if I have my x, y, z coordinates here, what would the x, y plane look like? Well, the x, y plane is the plane that includes the x-axis and the y-axis. And so that is this plane. It is the plane that would correspond to the floor if we're imagining the x and the y-axis going horizontally and z going uh, up. What would the, since that was the y-z plane, uh, so what would the y-z plane look like? Well, the yz plane would be the one that includes the y and the z axis, and it would be this one out here, right, including the y and the z axis where x is 0, right? Over here, this is where z is 0, okay? Those are the coordinate planes. Now, notice that there are three of them, and then if we drew them all in, they would divide the space up into eight pieces, right? one, two, three, four on either side of the xz and x and yz planes, and then four more below the uh, xy plane. And those are called the eight octants, kind of like we talk about the four quadrants in two-dimensional space. Okay? And so the coordinate planes divide space up into eight octants.